exhibition, you will make your personal journey into the past. You are now ready to begin your journey back to the dinosaurs. There you go, a bit of geology of the Isle of Wight. See how it's roughly split in two with the Cretaceous bit at the bottom. So we've been along this point and along this bit so far. Isaurus, Ammonites. Yeah, quite cool. Cool the cliff. Oh. That's a big one. Sound at Rock and End. It's an acanthus at Rock and End at um, Culver. That's really cool. Hydromorphs. Cynatosaurus. Cantosaurus, pull the cliff. Do like models, they're quite cool. We'll try one. There we go. Closest I've been so far to a troponium power banky. Definitely worth a visit if you're this way. Yeah. Right, I've come to uh, Yarvaland Beach, uh, sand down. So I'm walking towards Culver Cliff. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find some uh, chalk ammonites. There's also, if the clay beds are exposed, uh, more lobsters and various bits and pieces. So keep our eyes open, see what we can find on the way there. And see if we can find uh, something interesting. So, yeah. It's, uh, as you can see there, cliffs in the distance. So we're going up to the white stuff, see what we can find. And uh, yeah, if we're lucky, we might find something sticking out. Oh. Coming up to the first bit of uh, beach, it looks like it's been stripped, which is uh, good. Sand is the enemy of all fossil hunters. Uh, apparently this bit is uh, dinosaur territory. I think a lot of it is rolled bone, but yeah. Don't really collect bone, but we'll have a look see what we can find. If not, might be a nice bit. bed. So I think the dinosaur bone is quite dark, uh, maybe dark brown to black and it's still got that honeycomby uh, texture that we see in Yorkshire so that's what I'm looking for just on this bit. Found out so far you never know 
plenty to look at in this little stretch where it's stripped off the sand. And no lookers yet, we've come to quite a lot of clay. This has seen much. There's a section with loads of pyrite blobs in back there, but this uh, you haven't seen out in here yet. Yeah, quite a quite a bit of clay on this bit. Not sure if this is the green sand or not. Yeah. It's interesting. Could be a little bit of bone, or it could be a little bit of tree. I'm not 100 percent sure in my pocket, whatever it is. Again, plenty of collections of pyrite. What's that there? Oh, there we go, that might be a fossil. Or it might be a screw. It looks like some sort of gastropod, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's only tiny, it can go in my pocket as well. See all the ships lined up to go into port. So we're almost at the chalk now. Starts there. So we're gonna see if we can find any chalk count. I'm an actually they're about 90 million years old. So again, not 100 percent sure what I'm looking for, but anything that looks unusual, we'll have an explore. So that's some evidence that there's some ammonites been here. Definitely a whirl there. Yeah. That's been there, yeah, it's been there. A tiny one there maybe. Or a gastropod. Not sure. And there's been one there as well. So there's definitely been some, but there's any more or not, who knows? I don't know if someone's cracked, I'm assuming someone's cracked that and uh, found it. So yeah, definitely here. Okie dokie, I found some ribs there. Is that going to be an ammonite in that block or not? It's a bit flat. Don't, I really don't know, I'll give a little bash and see. But I think the block might be going the wrong way to be honest, to have all preserved in. Unless it's tightly coiled. I've done what I dare. It's weird. See, it's definitely coiled under. Actually, I've chipped a bit way there, but I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like because it's it's kind of got mouth there, it coils round really tightly to there. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. So yeah, I'm just uh, searching through the boulders and anything that's uh, dropped down from the cliff. Not seeing out at the moment though. So you can see the uh, lines going up the uh, the cliff and in the in the bedrock here it's quite striking there's obviously like a down throw where the uh, the angles kind of it's like that angle so you know instead of being flat like that it's either sunk or risen up so yeah it's quite uh, amazing you can see it all the way up to the top of the cliff so there's some interesting uh, corals and maybe sponges in this bedrock you can see there's lots of little things. It's start getting a little bit bigger as we go over here. So, found my first one. Look at that. Just about got middle. We'll be there from that side though, I think. So a bit of prep work. So yeah. So there's a little landslide here, a few little rocks. So I'll just give them a bash and I've come across a few ammonites. So there's one there, it's a bit worn, but 
Yeah, it's definitely the Namanite. And this block looks interesting. So there's a couple on here, but then there also looks to be a possibly a spirally one here. So yeah, that's quite cool. So a couple of bits definitely going in the bag. So heading back, I actually got a few uh, ammonites out of that rock pile. Uh, the tide's coming in, so didn't want to be too late, and I want to check out this uh, this section here again. Now the tide's down a little bit, so just in case I did miss anything. I've got a monster, but it's uh, I think it's squished. It does go under. I don't think it is a heteromorph. I think it's actually a squished one. That one looks promising though, especially with that one. That one behind there, quite nice. 